Hello, it's Pano Pihkala from the University of Helsinki talking about my chapter Working with Ecological Emotions, Mind Map and Spectrum Line. I'm very excited about this book. It brings together a great array of international perspectives and many kinds of methods of living with the ecological crisis and working with it in education and other fields. My chapter introduces work on this topic in Finland and several of my materials developed over the years. I'm especially focusing on two of them, the mind map and spectrum line, and a couple of words about them soon. In the background, there's my large literature review about eco-anxiety and environmental education. I'm mentioning some main themes in the book chapter also about this, but you can find this open access online. And next year, 2024, there should be available this emotional and affective issues in environmental and sustainability education, large bibliography I did for the Oxford Research Bibliography series. But first about the mind map. There is a Finnish example done by a teacher. Uh, this can be done preferably with just hand, but also with electronic devices. And it's really striking how major results can happen when people just very simply and intuitively write down emotions that they feel in relation to ecological issues or climate change in particular. Then it's possible to combine group discussions with this activity and there's uh, instructions available on the Existential Toolkit website. The second method I'm introducing is spectrum line. So uh, in a space, there's an invisible line and then people uh, walk or move in relation to this invisible line, one ecological emotion at a time. So for example, with worry, uh, if you feel ecological worry quite often or quite strongly, let your body move you towards this uh, end of the line. And if you feel that less or not so intensively, move towards the other end of the line. And there's introductions saying that this is, of course, a safe space and there are not, you know, absolute right or wrong answers. But the idea is to explore various eco emotions and the activity helps to validate and recognize them and also realize that we may feel many things at the same time. So there's lots of group dynamics included. So the mind map is much more easier to use and can be also used easily online, while the spectrum line demands a bit more from the facilitator, but, but can also be more powerful. And the more exact instructions are found both in my blog and at the Existential Toolkit website. I'm also mentioning some other resources. This colorful graphic is from the process model of eco-anxiety and ecological grief. So a model which tries to be simple enough and nuanced enough uh, and deals with the effort to encounter the ecological state of the world. So this is printed also in my book chapter and the wider article is available online. A very new development from autumn 2023 is this Climate Emotion Wheel produced by the Climate Mental Health Network. I was part of the team. So this is available online in several languages and can easily be used together with those methods uh, introduced in the book chapter. If you want to listen more about climate change emotions and what might a meaningful or even happy life mean possibly amidst all this, uh, I'm hosting a podcast with experienced environmental psychologist Thomas Doherty, and that can be found on the common podcast platforms. But I hope you'll enjoy reading the book chapter and the whole book. As I said in the beginning, I'm very glad about the book and warmly recommend it for various audiences. Thank you also for listening to this video and take care.